Skywarp72 with Cruisers Gaming and today we're going to be going over some of the goodies dropping in the February update and looking forward to March's update as well as that's the one we really want. But first if you would reach over click that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay up to date on all that is Forza be it updates, tips, tricks, how to's and more. I thank you. So uncivilized. The first nugget of information I have for you today is news on the long awaited FRR system or Forza Race Regulations. Forza Race Regulations were teased clear back in August of last year with the implement of the glowy blue lines in the August update. The rest of that system is rumored to include the removal of tire barriers and penalties for track cutting and dirty driving. Turn 10 confirming the beginning of finishing said project that came out today as well as saying that they are still working on it being a perfect system. I took the system to its maximum potential. I created the perfect system! But likely next month in March there will be a single hopper dedicated to testing it, focusing first on the track cutting. While this certainly would clean up the races at tracks like Yaz Marina and Top Gear, I wonder what will happen at tracks like Sebring where the real life race line is actually outside of the glowy blue lines. Personally, I'd like the glowy blue lines, or okay fine, I'll say it by the right word, the track limitation system to be tweaked before moving on with the Forza race regulations. As a Forza race marshal, the FRRs are hands down the most questions I get on when and how they will be implemented. So, everyone from UNR to Loft, I can safely now say that by summer the system will probably be in full effect and we can all expect much cleaner, more realistic racing in the coming months. Keep in mind, Turn 10 also said that they would be trying to implement the one hopper lobby with the Forza race regulations. They are still working on it being a functioning update, so it could be pushed back to April. However, if they teased it this month, chances are Turn 10 has it ready or very close to ready to go. And finally, we can finally get to the February update, including a force feedback update for wheel users. Grim, uh, there go all your wheel settings again, buddy. Uh, sorry about that. There were huge updates in the paint area as well, as now you can implement Forza Vista while in the paint shop, which has new lighting options, so you can do your livery in sunlight, clouds, or shrouded inside of a building. The garage area available from the main menu screen is now 100% transversible with the camera in Forza Vista mode, allowing you to explore and photograph the garage space that, you know, we've been working out of for like two years now. And finally, Turn 10 has said that even a full field of 24 cars and hoppers will load up to 30 seconds faster hopefully allowing players more time to choose a car in between races, which is a huge problem for friends of mine like old Bill Speed, who seemingly never picks the right car due to the time constraint. Calling you out, buddy. As per usual, the patch notes for this month's update will be posted up as soon as they are made available by Turn 10 on the Cruisers Gaming Facebook group and Discord. Links to both will be in the description down below. This week's subscriber shoutout goes out to THR Try Passin. 
met up with Try Passing on the Chevy Beretta Owners Group on Facebook. <laughs> After posting this picture of uh, before getting the headliner replaced this week in one of my Berettas. Always great to meet another Beretta lover in the Forza community, as Try Passing has owned in the past five Berettas and plans to acquire another one in the future. You can also check out Try Passing on Twitter and the team he races for, Team Highlands Racing, the links to which will be in the description down below. Adam, look forward to racing with you in the near future, my friend, and thank you so much for the support for the channel. Want a subscriber shout out here on the channel? Quickest way, go to the ForzaMotorsport.net forums to the car wishlist thread and request an 8889 Chevrolet Beretta GTU and help me get the Beretta in game. The link will be in the description and I thank you so much guys for your help on that. And as always, I thank you all for watching. I really had to rush this one along, but I know this is information you all have been salivating to hear. So like, subscribe, share, and if you're in a position to help the channel grow, please consider visiting the Patreon and becoming a patron of the channel. All that happy stuff, my friends. And remember, those friends are the family you get to choose. I'll see you next week, fellow cruisers.